Hello, it's Eric Allen Hall, and I'm coming to you today to show you how to make an easy cloth face covering. A lot of government agencies, stores, my employer are asking people to wear cloth masks when they go out, and I'll show you an easy way to do it. I was going through my closet and I found a couple of pairs of pajama bottoms that were kind of wearing out. Probably see it's getting a little threadbare there. And there's some peekaboo holes. And here's another pair also kind of wearing out. And so I figured I would use the fabric from these in order to make a face covering. So I already had uh, what's called a neck gaiter. And I originally bought this off of Amazon because it has a flame pattern. And I use this when I dress up in my Ghost Rider cosplay to make it look like my neck is on fire. So I use this as a pattern. And it is about 17 inches, or for my metric friends, uh, about 42 centimeters. And so I just measured that on the pajama pants and started at the bottom cuff and just cut off about 17 inches or 42 centimeters. Once you've cut it off, if you wanted to, um, I don't have a sewing machine, so you could hand sew this and just make a little hem around the edge like that. Or if you have a sewing machine, you could do that as well. The Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, recommends at least two layers of fabric and so I just kind of fold it inside of itself like this so you've got one layer on the inside one layer on the outside and just put it over your head now, depending on your head size and depending on the pant size, uh, you may have to take it in a little bit. For me, it seems to work just perfectly, and it stays on. I usually do it like this. So it goes over my nose, kind of over my ears, and it stays on really well. If you'd like, you could add something on the inside to make it a little more rigid. Some people use a coffee filter. I don't drink coffee, so I don't have any coffee filters. But if you have like a used dryer sheet, I wouldn't recommend a new one because the fragrance is kind of strong. But if you use a used dryer sheet, you just do the same thing, kind of fold it inside of itself. So you've got two layers. And then you can just slip the dryer sheet on the inside. Uh, for those that sh sew or do costuming, kind of like interfacing that you might use on fabric to make it a little more stiff. And then just the same thing. And it will make it a little bit more rigid and stay just a little bit better. When I get home from work, I take off my mask. And I've got this cool Halloween bowl. It's plastic. My garage leads right into my kitchen. So I'll take off my mask. I'll put it in the bowl, uh, pour in some detergent, hot water, and just kind of agitate it, let it wash. And I usually let it sit in the hot soapy water for about 20 minutes. And I make dinner. After dinner, I take it out, rinse it really well, rinse out the bowl, and then I just hang it up over my shower curtain rod and just let it air dry overnight. So I have done this. I now have five of these, including the one I originally got off of Amazon. And that's how you do an easy face covering using pajama bottoms. Good luck! 